Okay, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Steam Log with me, Klaus. Today we're going to be doing something slightly different because I sat, I basically sat down and I wondered to myself, there is something very, very wrong with my current setup. And I, I was like, what could it be? And then it hit me. I have no farms. I may have a potato farm and I may have a wheat farm. But I don't have a cow farm, pig farm, sheep farm. I don't have any of those. I'm like, oh dear. That's rather worrying. So today we're just going to go around and we're going to go... Uh... Okay, um, let me show you guys something. So there used to be a gravel tower here. And I took it down because it was the only way I could get up there. And there's a block of glass you can see up there that's missing. I forgot to replace that. I've got to do that later on. But as you can see up there, I increased the number of uh, golems up there, as you can see. You can see them walking around. But they don't really have seem to have done anything. So that was some false information from Dino. So you, Dino, you suck. <laughs> I uh, wasted a lot of iron on those golems, too. <clears throat> so, yeah. You, you always got to ch double check that information. I mean, I should have done it at a creative world. You may also be wondering, what on earth is that over there? And I'll get to that in a second once it loads in. But I'm going to come over here because I saw some pigs over here about, I think it maybe been 10 minutes ago. So I know they're over here somewhere. I've got some carrots because uh, I went to specifically go get some carrots from the village. So, what? Okay, you guys are following me. Uh, are you following me, dear? Yep, you're following me. Are you following me? Yes, you're all following me. So I'm going to take you guys over here, and I'm just going to very, very, like, primitively build a pit for them first. Because uh, I don't have... The design I originally had for them, for the breeding system, i got to test it out if it still works. Because I know the redstone update. This was... Uh, I I designed them before the redstone update, and they made the update may have broken them all. So yeah. I also have no idea why there's. I don't think there's any music at the moment. So yeah, sorry if you guys uh, have nothing to listen to but my horrible, horrible voice. I also uh, was thinking this bit. It only comes into um, like lights if you travel up the st uh, staircase. Well, the uh, where shall we build this pit? Because I don't think yeah, this is sand underneath. Okay, this will do. Uh, I'm gonna throw you guys in here for now. And yep, that will do. Get the sand in here. Find a way out. And uh, yeah, you guys can go in there. Go on, go on, piggy. What? Block this in first. Okay, come on. Hey, over here. There's a nice juicy carrot at the bottom. Go, go. Yeah, that got you. Okay, that got you. Okay, I'm gonna go find some cows. I'm gonna sleep this place off. I'm gonna double check what's happening with the sound because I can't hear it. So I'm worried that you guys can't hear it. So I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Uh, I, I stupidly, I looked onto my screen and I instantly realized what was going on. I forgot to, like, on a Mac, you have to set the volume with, um, you can set it on, uh, like an FM button on a laptop and so, ooh, that didn't sound good. And, uh, yeah, I had it all turned all the way down, so that was, uh, my stupid mistake. Yeah. So, on to explaining this. As you, May have remembered from the last episode, I tried burning down the jungle. And it didn't work out too well because the fire didn't spread as much as it I wanted it to. So therefore, I have resolved to the more fiery tactic than before. And it I guess it hasn't gone too well. But uh yeah, I was doing it before uh, you guys came on. So I still have all this stuff down here. But yeah, I'm going to... Go up there and show you guys what I'm basically doing. And I'll show you the guys the setup up there. I'm gonna go across here. And you may notice that I have, uh, that some of them are dis, disaligned. Uh, 
like they're not in the same row. And that's because uh, I actually died a couple of times while I was making this, so they, they may not be in the same row because I may have died. And that's just a simple reason, like the simple reason why it's not really the shape it is. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys what I'm actually doing up here. So there are 18 lava source blocks up here because I've got 18 buckets. And I am simply moving them along this grid. So I'll sh show you guys this. So I'm going to up to here. And I am going to move the lava source this way. Done. Done. And I'm just holding shift all the while and do... What the? Okay, the reason why I'm uh, actually, I originally started by taking out this block and placing it in that actual taken out space and then I saw this method because it spread out a bit more instead of covering a one by one area, it covers a three by three area so it would spread a bit more and once it got down there it would actually uh, spread out a bit, a bit more than, what the? Okay, that's weird. Uh, and the lava source is gone. That's rather peculiar. Okay, that's... Yeah, that hasn't worked out the best. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what's happening. I'm still playing in a single player world, so there shouldn't be any major lag. But there seems to be. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm just slowly shifting, uh, sifting through the jungle. And whilst I was making the jungle sector map a couple of episodes ago, I realized this jungle not only harbored one temple, it harbored several temples. So I am going to go find them. Maybe this episode or maybe another episode. But as you can see down there, there's some smooth stone made and there used to be some water down there. So it's cleared it fairly effectively, but it's a slow and arduous process. And yeah, I don't want to bore you guys with it. So I'm just going to do it in my own time when this kind of happens. And uh, I, I, I just don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore. <laughs> Uh, so that's going on, and I'm slowly taking down the jungle. I may just resort to uh, some like drastic measures, and I'm just gonna take an axe to it and burn down the leaves. And <laughs> sorry, as you can tell, I am, as you can tell, I'm actually quite still quite sick at the moment. I came down with a case of the cold, and it just hasn't recovered. So yeah, don't do that, guys. I have. A couple of times I've come down here, gone back too late, and I've just basically hit this bottom block with full force, and it has just gone so terribly. Yeah, so this is uh, this has become like a feature now. <laughs> there is uh, no grass around here growing anymore. There's most of the where the lava has touched it has cleared out the grass. There are places like this where the jungle wood just hasn't set a light, and I'm like, what? So yeah. I'm gonna have to go go out and uh, clear it all out anyway, so I might as well just do it with an axe. Yeah. But looking at it, we can now go and get some cows, and we'll set up a cow pen and a sheep pen. Did they introduce any other animals? Pretty sure that's it. Yep. All right. I think there are some cows in the plains. If I'm not mistaken that is I mean we'll get these we'll get this you know what we won't get you this sword is actually quite powerful I I had an iron sword in my inventory from pillaging the village I thought I um I thought I used it all but apparently it was still in there so I enchanted it and lo and behold crazy our sword that's a 30 level 30 enchantment I'll grab you sheep and is there any others there's one up there, and there's one on that side too. I'll grab you first. Come here, sheepy. And I'll grab... Where did the other one go? Oh, it's here. Okay, no, no, come on, come on, come on, kid, come here. Sheepy, derpy. No, don't walk away from me, I'm talking to you. Oi. Don't make me hit you this week. 
Yeah, you know you want it. Okay, let's find the other sheep. Oh, it's right behind me. Okay, okay. So, uh, I have to get enough sheep for 16 colors, I think. Uh, if, if I'm going by the old plan, which I probably will. Oh, yes, yes, there are chickens too. I forgot chickens. But uh, the chickens follow seed, so I'm going to have to go get some before I travel out. One sec, I think this music is a bit too loud, because last time I filmed, the music was rather loud in my ears. Come here, sheepy. Okay, we're going to come over here, we're going to dig you another pit, and we're going to throw you guys in there. Oh, okay, we've got four. I thought that far one was the one we didn't collect. So, the, the pig pit was here. Let's see where we're gonna house you guys. Put you here. Then we'll put you next to each other. I mean, it, you can guys make great friends. Come on down. Come on. Don't be shy now. Go in and make friends. There we go. I'm gonna breed you guys a little. I hope you guys don't suffocate in the walls. Okay, let's get some carrots with you guys. I forgot to breed you guys when you came over. And I'm gonna dig another pit for the cows just so I don't have to dig it out again. And then when we go looking for them, we just have to lead them back here. Okay, it's just a random dog sat over there. It's rather... What? Someone has been messing with my house, damn Enderman. You think they respect a brother? <laughs> Let's see, let me go get some seeds. I say that, but I, I doubt most of them would respect, uh, respect a brother. I actually think I have enough eggs, so if I just grab that chicken over there, I should be golden. I'll double check. Uh, you guys laid in. Actually, I'm gonna see if there are any more chickens around here. Because there should be. I mean, where there's one, there should be several, right? It's not necessarily a written rule, I'm guessing, but, uh,. Oh, here we go, here we go. Come here. Alright. Chickens are... Hmm. I don't really know. I'm just probably going to use them for their eggs, probably. Alright, there's another chicken over here. I may need another pit because the chickens... I've got two with me. And then I get, yeah, I need another pit for the cows. I'm quite fortunate to to live right next to planes and stuff, so I can get these animals. But I remember in my first world, I had to travel for absolutely ages to find them. And it was disastrous, because uh, you had to come back with a big group, otherwise you lost most of them through the forest and stuff like that. So, in you go. And in you go. There we go. So I, I think my chicken, tr uh, my chicken farm still works. Ooh, the little sheepy. I'm not sure though. I can't be a hundred percent certain, but at the same time, there is. I'll have to go test it out, rebuild it in a test world or something like that. So, let's see if I. I wonder if I have a spare bed, because if I can take the spare bed, I can go find cows, because I haven't actually seen cows in the plains yet. I know they should be around, but at the same time, I, I'm really not sure where I would find one, essentially. Hmm. No, I don't have a bed. I can make one, but no, I'll be fine. I'm gonna sleep in this bed. And then go over. As you guys may notice as well, the resolution on this episode is slightly higher because I am recording full screen. <coughs> Sorry. Recording full screen instead of windowed mode. So I 
I'm actually seeing if this actually works better the quality for you guys because it's quite easy for me to do this and I don't have I won't have the little green screen around the edge where I didn't uh, didn't size really really all of these sheep just randomly crowding here oh, that's terrible I thought they were gonna be is this you guys really have no natural predator do you just introduce a couple of wild wolves in here. That'll sort you out. Sorry, I'm really in a bit of a mean mood today. It's uh, the day I'm recording this, like this segment anyway. It's um, I went out and it was, I think it was a cycling event. And it just, the whole of my city just kind of ground to a halt. Because these guys were just, I wouldn't say selfish. But they just basically they shut down a city by ha by being cycling on the main like the main roads essentially, and I'm just like, why? But then again, it was a Sunday, so not everyone had to be somewhere and all that. But it just frustrated me how you know a little event like this could shut down a whole city, like grind it to a um, pretty much a halt. Yes, come on, we gotta find some cows. The draw distance isn't great on this full screen though. I would rather like it in the windowed mode, but... Ah! Cows! Cows! I see cows! Okay. I forgot to dig that pit, didn't I? Yes, I did! So I'm gonna grab some wheat, grab you guys. Cows is gonna be my main staple, and I'm gonna need them for, like, lever and stuff, so... They're gonna be quite an important animal in my farm. I'm gonna collect as many as I can so I don't have to breed them as often. Hmm. Alright, cow, come over here. Okay, grab you if you wanna come along. Here. Okay, let's go this way. We're gonna go slowly so you guys don't get lost. Don't shove each other into a hole. Don't become disinterested. Come on. I just said don't become disinterested. Alright, is everyone looking? Yo, big guy. I think this is far too much. But, it's okay. I could... I think they changed the mechanic where the baby cows actually follow their mothers. So I could breed a couple and just take the mothers because they will always follow the parents. I could, but then... Hmm, it's just far too fiddly to be perfectly honest. I mean, six is enough, I guess. I mean, it, to be honest, two is enough. I, I will just, you know, d do my own little time-lapse, like, breeding system, so... No, not a time-lapse breeding system. I'll just basically breed them myself to to, to hide their numbers from two upwards. It'll be fine. This place is just riddled with holes. Okay, we're down to four. We're up to like I think it was eight. Down to four because we just lost two right there. We're not going back for them. We've got a sheep. Get out of here, sheep! Don't want you. Because if the sheep comes nearer, the cows can't follow as close. So, yeah. As you can see, I I already harvested a bit of their wheat. Oh, dear. This place is dangerous, precarious. I'm going to uh, I'm going to remodel this place cuz it seems to have just sat on generated land and the the land hasn't generated properly. No. Nope. Are you kidding me? <sighs> you better be able to get out of here. I don't have a pick on me. You cows. You're causing me so much trouble. Right, get out. Wait, what? You guys have become disinterested? Why? Why have you guys become disinterested? Come here. You, come here. Now. Yeah. Cow's still stuck in there. Everyone's on a pressure plate. It's probably the wooden tables that they have in the houses. Okay. 
I'm looking at some uh, some designs that include uh, having like a set number of cows always in your system and you're moving the little cows away because the big cows are two blocks high but the little cows are one block high so yeah you can you can shift them through like a one bl uh, block high gap sort of hey big guy okay this way you're not interested uh, you know what a free, free is enough Right, this is going to be difficult. It's cross water. And there's loads of sheep as well, so. Oh dear, come on. There's some coal down there. Oh, we're already on the other side. How handy. Oh, they don't seem to bob as much in uh, shallow water. It's rather interesting. You learn a lot of animal me like movement mechanics if you're bringing them home. Really weird. My food is getting rather low too. Alright, I'm gonna use some potatoes. Hit you. Oi! Don't become disinterested. You were interested before. And that was a nasty cough. Okay, going this way. I think. I can't see my cog, so I have no directional discernation whatsoever. Actually, I know it's around here somewhere. I just gotta find it. So many sheep. Wait, did we lose another one? Really? Hey. Come on. Ah, uh, you know what? Two's fine. Get out of here. They, they they seem to be a bit derpier than last time, because last time you could you could take them quite far and they would still be interested. These just lose interest so quickly. Like get out of here, sheep! Look, that one doesn't even ah, uh, he didn't even make it ten steps. Come on! I really need some leads. <gasps> oh, that could have been an idea. I need some leads then. Let's go craft some leads. I think it's just string and slime balls, maybe. I don't know. Alright. Let's see where we're going with this. I need to quickly go dig them a pit. Do I have a pit? No, I don't think so. I think we've only got three pits. Yeah, you guys can have a pit. A pit to call home. Right, quickly dig you guys a pit now. Please don't wander off while my back is turned. Right, put you in there. Right, you sheep, come over here. I'm gonna go over here. Sheep, sheep. Hey, hey. Jeez. Okay. I'm going to push you in here. Alright. That's um, that's all of our animals collected. Breed you guys. <coughs> oh boy. I did not meet my mic for that one. Sorry guys. And I'm also extra sorry if you uh, if you also heard that, uh, if you're going to hear that in the final product because I want to cut it out but at the same time I might forget. Okay, that's all the animals done. Let's see what we're gonna do. Leads, that's it, leads. <laughs> I get distracted so easily. Alright, got some string. I got some slime balls, got some more string. Where is the string? Uh oh. The dog's growling. Why? Uh, so you got some more string, okay. Create some leads. Uh, I think it's like this. Nice, we got some leads. I uh, will create a couple more.
What's the dog growling at? Alright, I think it might be a zombie penguin come through. Come through the nether portal. What are you growling at, boy? Yeah, that's weird. They're not growling at anything. One of them is growling though. What the hell's up with the tail? Uh, let's see where you are. Okay, no, come out, come out, come out a bit more. Alright, we're gonna sit you back down. These guys lose health quite quickly. Right, I'm gonna charge everyone up. I'm not gonna make any more puppies. I'm just gonna charge your health up. Shadow taking up a beast of an amount. Uh, I'm gonna leave you until morning. That derpy dog over there. I'm I'm sure I have two more dogs in them. What the? No, no. Was well, it gonna suffocate? No. Okay, I wasn't gonna suffocate. That was rather weird, though. Ah, I love my headset. You can mute it and all. Just so you guys don't have to listen to the massive sneezes and huffing and all that kind of bad stuff. Alright, we're going to use the leads and see if we can uh, grab some animals this way. Oh, there's a creeper. Let's see, we need more cows, I think. Yeah, cows is going to be priority. Oh, that was close, dude. That hissing sound really resonates. Alright, okay. There's a cow here. I remember we still had one here. And then we had one back there. So I'm gonna... Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna bring you back. Come here, you. Uh, he's gone. He's gone. He's doing a runner. No, I got you. I got you. Nah, this actually, this works better. Yeah, this works better because they don't. Unless you go too far, I mean, you're not you're not going. You're not, well, I'm not going to get be able to get too far. Yeah, this is actually working better. What? 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 Okay, that's weird. All right, come on, Derpy. Get out the get out the grass. No, get out the water. Sorry, and you too. Yeah, no other animals will interfere this way. That, this is quite good. Yeah, I think I'm going to get all my animals this way. And I don't... Do the, the leads break? I don't know. I don't think so. They, they're stretching to quite a length. And they look like they're teleporting to you. I'm going to try it. Right, I'm going to sprint that way. Right. No, they're still with you. Oh, no, no, no. One, one of them broke. Okay, one of them broke. I'm not sure where the lead is now. Okay, the lead is gone. I'm presuming that the lead is gone. Cause it, oh no, no, it's down here. Okay. So the lead doesn't really break, it just kind of... It gets disconnected. Okay, you, no, no, you guys come here. So don't, no, don't charge, keep charging forward, it'll be fine. And they should be quite... Yeah, look, it's teleporting to you. Oh, you broke again, okay. We've got a... Quite a... Troublemaker of a cow here. Alright. I wonder how you take the leads off. Hmm. I'll worry about that later. Huh, that is rather weird. How do you take the leads off? Um. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I mean, you guys can keep the leads on. For all I care. I mean, you're gonna be able to. You're gonna be penned in, so. Mm. No, get down there. Come on. Get down there. One in. And another one. Oh, come on. Get in there. 
This is harder than it looks. Alright, I'm gonna move back. And it broke. So there should be so yeah, they should be in there. Yep, they're in there. Break out. Yeah, I got it. So uh, it doesn't seem a practical way of doing it, but you know, it's the it's the way I prefer. All right, so I'm gonna quickly take a look at uh, the recording and see what else we can do. Be right back. All right, so I'm gonna add a bit on to the end for a little treat for you guys. I've got a, a diamond pickaxe that I enchanted from many many episodes ago. This is only efficiency four. And I wanted to wait until I had an unbreaking book, but looking at it, I probably won't get it. So I'm gonna. Where are my maps? Oh, they might be outside actually. I really need to reorganize my stuff. Uh, map, that's another one. Uh, where are they? Okay, that's rather weird. Uh oh. Where are my maps? My precious, precious maps. Oh no, 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 no. It took me ages to make. No! It must be in here somewhere. Oh dear lord. What's that? Unknown map. Oh yeah, I was keeping this one to frame. Okay, there's this one. It should be. Where is the other one? Okay, that's rather peculiar. Turn this. No, where are my maps? Oh, no, no, no. Don't tell me I died with them. Oh, no. Oh, five. Uh, that's rather dis disheartening. Ah. Uh. You know what, I'm going to go remake those maps, and sorry, I did want to show you guys the desert jungle temples, but I don't actually know where they are now, so, yeah. That's gone straight down the drain, but uh, thank you for joining me this time, and I will sh see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me, this has been Klaus and Nome on the Steam Log, I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.